Hello YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to share with you <clears throat> tonight um, a couple of um, I think they're fantastic. Um, well, one's a plug-in for X Plane 11, and the other is um, a modification. Uh, it's the modification is for X Plane 11 night lighting for the street lights and um, <clears throat> lighting on the ground. Um, at the moment, we just I uh, just took off from London City, and this is the default lighting in X Plane 11, which is which is pretty good. You can't deny that. Uh, it looks very very impressive. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I wanted to show you there is a modification for this night lighting, which is a very simple uh, modification to add to X Plane 11. I don't know who did the. Uh, uh, modification it's just a text a piece of text which um, you have to uh, put into uh, explain resources which I'll show you how to do that later <clears throat> and the other um, uh, the other thing is a plugin that's, that's I've just found out about it today and it's an auto save plugin uh, which actually goes into your plugins folder but you do need Python script a thing called Python script for the uh, the um, explain save function plugin to work uh, which I'll show you where you can get that from and uh, uh, that's quite simple to install as well it's a bit like Flurry Lua um, in the way it's, you use it but it's called uh, Python uh, I don't know how it works, I don't want to know, all I know is it does work and it's blooming good. So, we're just over uh, the, the the save function um, will save your flight every about five minutes, <clears throat> although you can alter that time. Um, but it won't work with, well it will work, work with default aircraft, um, general aviation aircraft shall we say. But it won't work with complex uh, payware aircraft. It won't put your flight plan back in and at the moment anyway. It's a general save function. Um, which I think they'll probably improve on anyway. So okay, we're just over London now. Um, we're in the default lighting from X-Plane 11. And it looks pretty good. It's very good in fact. Um, but what I wanted to show you is what this lighting looks like um, with the um, modified text file that you can download and put into x -Plane 11 so uh, I'll be back shortly and we're waiting for it to save um, it's saved one uh, portion of the flight which uh, as I say it saves every five minutes and uh, what we'll do We'll come back and load up again at the second uh, save point, uh, but this time we'll have the uh, the new lighting um, text in the explain folder, so that you can see what the difference is between the uh, the two lighting effects. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, it's just auto save. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, reload the sim or to the text file and come back and show you what the difference is with the uh, with the auto save uh, with, uh, with the uh, text lighting from the new file hello youtube now we're back in explain 11 i've re uh, started the sim at, at uh, the auto save point using the auto save plugin um, and i've changed the, um, the text file for the lighting and uh, uh, as you can see now uh, it, it looks quite different. The the, the lighting looks brighter. Uh, it's a more white colour, uh, as you can see over there. Um, and if I just unpause the sim now and start flying, you'll see that if I just look that, it's absolutely incredible. It, it, it lights all the streets up. Um, it's just fantastic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they what they've done in this text file but it's just simply replace the text file um, that's all there is to it and 
my opinion is it, it's just changed the sim at night. It's, it's unbelievable. It re X Plane was really good before, um, you know, with just the stock lighting, but you don't have to add anything to it. It's just a text file. And uh, I think it's fantastic. One of the best um, modifications I've come across for X Plane since I started using the sim. And of course, like a lot of stuff in X-Plane, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And we've got to take your hat off to all these people who spend all the time and effort in giving us all these modifications and plugins uh, for, for, the, for the sim. It's, it's just incredible. It really is incredible. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just um, stop the sim and just show you basically how to add this text file uh, into Explain 11 to give you this absolutely fantastic lighting. So I'll be back in a, a short while. Hi hey YouTube. Now, oh, okay, what do we do to put this um, modification into Explain 11? Well, we open the Explain 11 folder up as you can see and we go to resources um, bitmaps, world, lights, and this is the text file. Now, the, you will only have the one file in there which will be called lights. And what you need to do is to rename that. Uh, I've renamed mine to lights.original. Uh, so you can revert to the original files uh, if, if you don't uh, like the new lighting. So I strongly suggest you do that before you put the other text file in. This is the new text file. Uh, you don't have to do anything with it. You just drop it into this folder, making sure that you've uh, renamed the original one to whatever you want to call it so you so that you can uh, put that file, uh, uh, take that file out and rename that one to lights if you're not sure, not very happy with the new lighting. I love the new lighting, so... Um, I've just left the original one in there so I can revert if I need to and that's all you need to do for the lighting modification I'll put a link, uh, a link in the descriptions where you get this um, this uh, text file from and it's also uh, shows you some screenshots of the differences between the two uh, sets of lighting so I hope you enjoy this as much as I do because I think it's fantastic it really is uh, next, we're going to show you uh, the uh, the plugin that uh, came out. I think it only came out today. I only noticed it today, uh, and it's the um, Explain Save plugin, um, which uh, is a bit more complicated because you do need Python script to. Uh, you have to have that installed and uh, put it in your plugins for that save function to uh, to work properly. But I'll put some links in the descriptions again for the. Uh, for the the the, uh, the explain save uh, plugin as well so i'll be back in a, a few seconds when i uh, uh i'll uh, really uh, reload and uh, show you how to uh, where to get that plugin from and uh, and how to put that uh, plugin into your explain okay yeah. youtube here we are back again uh now what the link the for the plugins uh, program will take you to this um uh, page in uh, explain.org uh, uh, it's the downloads uh, on the downloads and uh, this is the plugin we're talking about for auto save it's got a lot of text in there which tells you exactly what to do um, but if you, you you do need the uh, python uh, uh, plugin installed and you need the python program as well to to be installed on your computer um, if you go down to the very bottom and you click on the, if this is if you don't have Python installed on your PC, click on that link. That will take you to the Python um, page and you need to select uh, under downloads the installer for the um, uh, operating system that, that you use. I've got a Windows 64-bit, uh, uh, Windows 10 64-bit uh, 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 um, um, in, installed. Um, so you need, I had to use this uh, Windows 64 MSI installer, 2.78. Just click on that and it'll run it, it, it installs itself. Quite straightforward. 
Um, now, if we go back to the uh, uh, the the program itself, uh, it also uh, tells you what to do in your X plane once you've installed the Python um, program. Um, so, if we click on that, we go to another page, web page, where you need to download this Python 2.7 plugin. Uh, not the 2.6, the 2.7. So if you click on that, that will download the Python interface which you need to put into your Xplane uh, 11. So um, we'll have a look at what uh, you need to do with that bit of the uh, program there. So um, just dragging across my Xplane 11 folder now. Uh, into resources and plugins and what you'll have is that uh, that folder there which you've downloaded from the uh, um, the last page we had a look at just drop that into your plugins folder but you need to create another folder and you need to name it exactly the same as that um, their python scripts and when you've done that 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 folder will be empty of course if we just go back um, to the auto uh, save program when you download that file there all you need to do with that file then is to pop it into the python scripts folder which you made uh, I say this will be empty and you'll pop in that file there don't worry about these two they'll be populated once you run the uh, explain and that's all there is to it you can modify stuff in the uh, text it comes with some uh, a readme telling you how to do that uh, but that this is basically what you do for the auto save and it's, it's pretty good um, especially for general uh, aviation aircraft it works quite well i think it's worth having that plugin in your uh, in your explain 11. so that's a couple of nice uh, modifications you can do for this fantastic simulator that we've got and uh, Hope you uh, hope you enjoy this lighting as much as I do. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's free, as I say. So, till next time, see you again. Oh, YouTube! I just thought I'd add uh, this little bit to the end of the uh, video um, in case you um, have problems with the uh, finding the night lighting file. Uh, if you click on the link I put in the descriptions, it will take you to this um, page here. <clears throat> and what you need to do is just to scroll down, keep on going down um, until you find this guy here, David WE1. There is a solution. And look down to the bottom, and if you click on that lighting, um, a text dot text file which is in uh, underlined in blue click on that that will download the uh, lighting text file for you so you can put that into your um, your explain um, <coughs> resources uh, uh, folder just thought i'd add that in case you had any problems in finding where the file is so that's uh, that's all you need to know just download that file and follow the instructions i put in the in the in the video on how to uh, where to put that uh, text folder Cheers for now.